Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelly. Hi if you're new I, I'd love if you guys hit that subscribe button down below along with a little bell next to it That way you can get notified the next time I upload my newest video and today I'm sharing with you guys my 18 favorites of 2018 I'm so excited to be sharing this with you guys I've been filming this video every single year since I started my channel and they're so much fun to look back on and just like reflect on the year and think of my favorite fashion pieces and other little random favorites that are fun to share with you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up if we have anything in common or if you want to share your favorites with me let me know in the comments down below but let's just get into it so this is throughout the whole year which I am so excited for 2019 but 2018 was a good year as well and the first thing that I automatically thought of were my jacks from the summer because I wore these platinum Jack Rogers they're so worn every single day in the summer and they were like my go-to shoes from the spring all the way till early fall because I was like I do not want to stop wearing my jacks I'm seriously so excited for it to warm up because I just love these shoes these are just the classic Jack Rogers they're really worn but you can't tell how worn they are when you're wearing them because because you're do cover up the bottom part which is awesome these are just such a classic preppy shoe and i absolutely adore them the next thing i want to share with you guys are friendship bracelets and if you guys have been watching me all year and following me on instagram you guys might have seen me make these like talk about them i seriously just love making them i've been making like really really big ones and everything they're just such a fun thing to do to relax for me because it keeps me busy like my hands are doing something but like mentally i'm like not doing anything else which is so nice it's help take your mind off things so i really like these they're a great like stress reliever for me but I seriously have been enjoying them and finding different patterns and everything for them. I feel like this one's going to be perfect for my 45 days of pink because it's just like such fun pretty colors I'll have to style this next favorite is actually a playlist on Spotify so if you guys don't follow me on Spotify it's just at Kelly Two Wise Tomlinson I make playlists all the time and I add new songs to all my playlists and everything and it's so much fun because I love finding new music but I feel like during 2018 I really found my favorite type of music and I know I probably say this every year but I have been listening to my prepster playlist for at least six months I absolutely love it it's so fun there's over like 200 maybe 300 songs on it a lot of you guys follow it and it's just really chill but happy music and I just think it's perfect for any occasion I will listen to it literally every single day it's so good and I just love that and while we're talking about music another one of my favorites was Zane's album this is so weird but I listened to it because it was on my Spotify like rewind thing I listened to his album for 42 hours this year which I'm just like oh my goodness <laughs> I just thought that was really funny and I wanted to include that as one of my favorites because I spent a lot of time listening to that album but I was always reading when I was listening to that album just as like background noise and I really liked it so whenever I do read a book I listen to like chill music so that's a really good album if you need some like chill music to listen to the next thing I want to share with you guys is my Kelly Prepster sticker so this definitely made my favorites because it was like my first product I ever made and sold and so many of you guys bought it on my Etsy which I can't thank you guys enough for buying it and supporting me it is listed down below if you guys want to check it out but I've been selling these on my Etsy for two dollars and they're just so fun and so special to me it's just my, my little logo and everything and I gave them all to my family and everything it's just so much fun it definitely made one of the highlights for my year and the next favorite I want to share with you guys is something that I wear almost all the time and I wear a ton of bracelets as you guys know I love big arm candy stacks I have a few videos on it and in case you guys want to check that out I will insert a card but I am obsessed with Lily and Laura bracelets so happy that I got to team up with them and they have sent me a lot of bracelets just to promote and everything which is so cool but I did buy them before they started sending them to me and I just love them I feel like they make the perfect arm candy stack because they add a little splash of color but the thickness and the like the beaded part just adds the perfect texture to any arm candy stack in case you guys are into stacking bracelets I definitely recommend these and they're just so cute and of course I have to talk about my little DIY Kelly purse so if you guys weren't following me at the beginning of the year I was obsessed with the Carrie Diaries. I've seen it I want to say maybe two three times like the full season all the way through and it's like the prequel to Sex in the City I think and oh my goodness every time I watch that show I get so inspired with like outfits and just fashion in general and I absolutely just love that show and of course I had to recreate her Carrie purse with my name on it and I did Kelly and this was such a fun DIY because all you need is an old purse and some nail polish and I love this I do need to fix it because it's chipping a little 
little bit but this purse just inspires me I have it hanging in my room like on my wall so that when I look at it I get re-inspired but I'll probably honestly will gonna rewatch the Carrie Diaries again just because I get so inspired every time I watch it so in March I remember I tried out fake eyelashes for the first time and I have been wearing them ever since they are just seriously so much fun I don't have any on right now but they just make your makeup look so glam that I love them and I've been wearing the Ardell wispies this is what I buy I bought these at Target they come with two sets and this is around five dollars and I can probably get like maybe five to ten wears out of each set of lashes which is awesome so it's really like I probably buy these once a month and wear them like enough throughout the month and I just love them I feel like they make you look so glam so dolled up and they're so fun for pictures or if you have like events to go to along with the fake eyelashes I really got into makeup during 2018 which I was so happy about I started making little makeup videos on Instagram which was so much fun another thing that I really loved this year was my Lily Pulitzer bedding so if you guys remember Lily Pulitzer and Pottery Barn teamed up and did a whole line together for like houseware I guess and at Pottery Barn Kids they had the cutest sheets and everything so I will insert a picture because I don't have them on my bed currently but they're just so happy and so colorful and I will definitely be putting them back on my bed this spring and summer I just like the white calmness for winter and everything but they're so happy and every morning when I'd wake up I'd just be like oh my goodness it's gonna be a great day because it was so colorful and so bright and happy so another thing that made me really happy and I haven't worn this for a while but I wore it so much during the summer and it is my yellow Monday tea from Shein. I'm not really sure if it's on their website or not anymore, but it's so cute. I told myself at the beginning of 2018 that I was going to stop dreading Mondays because I remember when I was younger and everything, Mondays were always like, oh, back to school, back to work. You know, like it was just back to it and you're like not enjoying it. And honestly, I never disliked Mondays. I feel like it was just because like everyone else didn't like Mondays that I was like, oh, I don't like Mondays either. But then I told myself, Mondays aren't that bad and honestly Mondays are probably one of my favorite days out of the whole week I just feel like I always get so much done it's just a fresh start and I absolutely love it and of course they have a super cute t-shirt that I feel like it's only appropriate to wear on Mondays Another fashion favorite from 2018 were my pink J. Crew chino shorts. I literally wore these once a week during the summer. They're just so fun and bright and fluorescent, and I love wearing anything that's super loud and obnoxious, and I feel like these hot pink chinos are just that. I cannot wait for it to warm up so I can start wearing them again. So my next favorite is from J. Crew as well. I really wanted these to have a huge comeback during 2018, and we'll still work on it. And it's bubble necklaces. I just would love for them to have a comeback. I tried the whole bring bubble necklaces back I just remember wearing these right when I started getting into the preppy style and they're so fun because they are such a statement and they add such a fun little pop of color to any outfit and I feel like if you have been dressing preppy for a while you might have these in your closet I don't really think they sell as many of them as they used to but I remember buying like so many different color statement necklaces and I feel like I just stopped wearing them so I'm trying to wear them again get my use out of them and I just think they're so fun and these were definitely one of my favorites for 2018 so another favorite of 2018 and I actually don't do this anymore but it was Orange Theory Fitness in the Bikini Body Guide the BBG I told myself at the beginning of 2018 that I wanted to focus on fitness and I can honestly say I reached a lot of my fitness goals and got into the best shape of my life which is something I'm so proud of myself for doing and I think those two programs really helped I was doing Orange Theory Fitness like five or six times a week which is an hour of intense cardio and then I was doing the Bikini Body Guide I did the first full 12 weeks I completed the program and then I tried to do it again for like four weeks and then I was like I just can't I got it was just too much and then I decided to stop doing orange theory just because I did over 200 classes and I was like I just need a little break but it was so much fun and I really just reached a lot of my fitness goals which is something I'm so proud of and I really am hoping to reach a lot more of my fitness goals in 2019 which I'm super excited about but that was definitely one of my favorites another favorite is the preppy handbook so I actually bought this book off Amazon during the summer I remember seeing it all over Instagram and Pinterest when I started getting into the preppy style and my mom's like oh yeah I read that when I was in high school and stuff and it was written in the 80s and it was such a fun read but it seriously inspired so many outfits which I was so happy about so if you're into the preppy style I definitely recommend this book the next thing that I want to share with you guys is something that I recently got I got these in December and I have been eyeing them since October and I just knew right when I saw them that they really wanted them and they are these Eastland boots these are the Charlie 1955 boots in the color walnut and I just love these shoes I just think they're so beautiful I found them on Abercrombie's website during October I was like hard eyes over them and I was like Kelly you don't need another pair of shoes it really puts them on my top 18 items 
is the story behind them so I saw these shoes I fell in love with them I showed them to my mom and my dad I was like look at these shoes they're so gorgeous and they're like Kelly you don't need more shoes and I was like okay I see I understand and I'm not gonna lie they were a little expensive and so I was like eyeballing them and I was just like in love with these shoes and I followed them on Instagram and stuff and then we got in connection together and they're like yeah we'll send you a pair of shoes if you share it on your social media and I was like Oh my goodness. I literally have been wearing them like crazy since I got them. And honestly, every time I look at them, I'm just so happy that I am able to work with companies like that. It's just so like mind blowing to me because without you guys, I wouldn't be here. So thank you so much for watching my videos. But it was just like such an eye opening experience for me. So the next thing I want to share with you guys is my day designer planner. And I have talked about this more during the summer. I really haven't done a whole lot of organization videos is because honestly, I feel like I've been slacking in that department a little bit during 2018. But I love this planner. I'm going to show you guys today's spread. I'm filming this on the first and it just, I haven't filled it out yet. It just has, has your hourly spread on this side and your to-do list over here. It has a little note section, your daily gratitude, and then it also has your top three which I find really helpful and then it just has your do dinner dollars and don't forget and it has a little quote at the top of it I seriously love this planner because every single day has its own to-do list and I love making to-do lists I feel like it really helps me get everything done and this planner has kept me so organized and honestly 2018 has been very interesting so this definitely helped me stay on track of things so I have two more things that I want to share with you guys and my next one is my blog during 2018 I spent a lot of time working on my blog. I kind of redid it a little bit, updated some of it, like not really that well because I still don't know how to do it, but I like changed the colors and stuff. And I did do every single day blog post in the summer and it was so much fun. So I would post my outfit every single day, link everything. It was so much fun and I just had so much fun working on my blog and having a new platform to explore. And my last thing that I want to share with you guys is a quote. And this quote has really pulled me through the whole 2018. It's just like every time I like felt like I wanted to give up or something, I would just look back on this quote. And the quote is, dreams don't work unless you do it always motivated me to get up and get doing so maybe that'll motivate you but that really helped me during 2018 I'm so excited for 2019 I'm looking forward to it I have so many new goals going on you guys don't follow me over on Instagram which is just that Kelly Prepster I'm doing 45 days of pink I did a hashtag challenge I created it if you guys use the hashtag 45 days of pink sharing your pink outfit I might share it on my story so be sure to use that tag me if you want but I'm so excited it's gonna be lots of pink up until Valentine's Day which I'm so excited about so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a long one, but I just wanted to share all of my favorites from 2018 with you guys. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys next time with my newest video. Bye guys!